What's going on, guys? Pegasus and the Wise Guys, and I'm here with DJ Klein. DJ Klein. He he got he he got first place on Saturday, man. I mean uh, Friday, and we gotta we gotta talk to this man because he's a he's a virtual world savant, you know, in, in the Kansas City area. So I'm gonna shut up, bro. Alrighty, the deck is 40 cards. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna start off with the engine, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna go from there. So um, this is his like favorite deck ever, you know. Yeah. So. <laughs> Everybody knows pretty much all the virtual world cards have a sin effect, and then I'm not going to explain too much. Mm -hmm. uh, but Lulu has uh, an ad. Mm -hmm. Lulu, I played three of. Mm -hmm. uh, she has whatever I sin, I add opposite of. Uh, you max out on that. Then I play three GG. Uh, it has a in phase. Uh, effect to add a monster from the grave. Um, so that's six. We go three Lao Lao. Um, he is a monster reborn. Mm -hmm. And then three Lili. And he's double foolish. Now, the double foolish, don't is it a spell and it's, it's spell and some, it's whatever the hell you want. So but. if I target a spell, I send a trap and a monster. Mm -hmm. If I target a trap, I send a spell and a monster. Right. And what I want to do most of all is target a trap because when I get my spell in the grave, then I just pop off. Right. And monster for your extenders. Right. Shout out to this one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so that's 12 monsters right there, and the last uh, engine card is one man. You only um, like one? I only a lot like... of people, you know, a lot of people, you know, they, 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 they look at it a different way. Yeah, a lot of people like the, the two because of the recycling effect. Mm -hmm. I just feel I don't want to draw it. I always want to um, add it from hand or... Uh, how would I say, search it or something like that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I might have just said the same thing. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, no, like, uh, bro. Yeah, anyways, yeah. That or I got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. They know. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, now I'm going into my hand traps. Uh, I knew high impactful hand traps were good was like Ash and Imperm, but I added a little bit else into it from a Friends of Ice. Mm -hmm. uh, I play two Imperm. Uh, if I had the third Imperm, I'd play it. But <laughs> it's you know, real out here, bro. Hey. Two, two is it, it's solid. I play three Ash. Uh, obviously, self explanatory. Shout out to the, the weird, weird foot Ash. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Got Forehead or feet? Forehead or feet? And the uh, <laughs> last hand trap slash going second card. But it was super high impactful. Was the Dark Ruler no more? How were those pretty insane? I saw you landed in the first, like I think it was the second round. I watched, mm -hmm. I walked past you. So I just yeah, I every time I did that, I broke their board and I set up uh, interruptions. And majority of people who I played used ninety percent of the resources their first turn. Yeah, and the they balls just, to the wall and they just walk right into exactly. it. Exactly. They're like, oh, you can't kill me, but. You're, you're not going to really play after I break your board. So. <laughs> That's pretty simple, too. Uh, now I'm going into spells. Uh, a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people like to max it all out um, yeah. on the virtual world spells, but right. I play two green one. Um, I don't really want to draw this. Um, that's why I have, uh, I'm playing two. Uh, I like to send it. Uh, you, so you got, you got tired of drawing into it every single game or correct. something? Yeah. I mean, it's nice sometimes when you draw it yeah. because you, ha you can target, you know, it's not the trap mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, you have to set first. Yeah. Um, it gets you to your place, but I prefer it in the graveyard. Yeah. It's, it's self-explanatory for you. Yeah. Right. How often does the negating come up with, uh, uh, it, so, the cool part about that is it baits out any interruption. Mm -hmm. Like if they have a monster negate or a pop or an omni negate or anything, as soon as you uh, activate that and you have a card in your graveyard to banish, mm -hmm. virtual card, um, it always just uh, baits out the negate. Right. So it's, it's really nice. Uh, it came up probably like three times so and city is just to, to search any of them right uh, set them in the spell and trap zone correct it, you can activate them directly from the deck um so. 
Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. True, true, true. Um, uh, Double Desires was thinking about cutting it, but uh, when you see my extra deck and the spice later, you'll understand why I'm playing it still. Mm -hmm. uh, extension it is three E Telly. Uh, so I've seen people's deck profiles to two and one mm -hmm. because if you're not playing the punk engine, people are like, why do you want to see E Telly? I still have um, me and or Lulu, and that gets me a target. And so. they're free. Yeah, yeah it's, and it's, it's free. free. Yeah, exactly. You gotta argue with you. You know, I wouldn't argue. With you. <laughs> <laughs> and last but not least, the uh, last spell is a call by the grave. Uh, yes. Self-explanatory, but it's broken. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going into my traps now. Simple and standard. Two Chi Chi, one. I don't even know how to say that word. Even though, even though I've been playing it forever. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm just like, yeah, read it. <laughs> um, Shout out to his translation. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Chi Chi. Self-explanatory. You just like shuffle two to pop one face-up card on the field. Mm -hmm. This actually won me uh, game one of my first set with the guy. I thought I bricked, I opened up these two, and uh, I set two and passed. And he opened up his Grand Manju and some other stuff. Well, this says if I control another gate, spell or trap, I can, during the battle phase, um, Switch a monster to defense. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. <laughs> so it, it. You thought you thought you were. He dead. thought he was gonna do 12k <laughs> to me, but I was like, nah. Grandma. Yeah. And then Shit I. Was and couldn't do anything after that. Right. Uh, here's my spice. Uh, it's very very small because I like to play the more pure variant of uh, virtual world. Mm -hmm. uh, one fairy tale snow. Um, I send it from my extra deck, uh, or if I have the spells or traps in the graveyard, I can banish it and discard it. Um, some people, I would, I never normal this, and I preferably not to see it because I like to ditch it. Yeah. Um, I play. Oh, okay. Two, just two of the Sword Soul Long Yong. Long Yong. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm just. Yeah. So they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're worms over there, big fella. Yeah, they're yeah. worms over there, big fella. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, yeah, Lili and Gigi is uh, worms. So that's a uh, target to. Uh, so you discard. actually you actually burn them down to the sixty-eight uh -huh. with yeah. That's pretty good in virtual world, bro. It's like vir uh, virtual sword. No, excuse me, yes. virtual sword. Okay. And then the last two spice is to malicious. Uh, me and malicious combo is so broken. Um, so I banish this from Grave, mm -hmm. special it. Uh, when I special me and out of Graveyard, it becomes a tuner, but when it, uh, and it banishes when it leaves the field. Mm -hmm. So you uh, synchro into the nine. And then after that uh, banishes, I recycle oh. the Mally back into the deck. So the Mally is live again. I did that like every game. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, that's it for the main cookie, deck. Cookie told you that, didn't he? Cookie told you that. Nope. No, I he's like, not. no, I, I came uh, up with that, fam. But that's he did uh, recommend the three dark ruler. Okay, Cookie. Okay, Cookie. Yeah. See, we knew we cook, See, cookies. We yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's actually forty cards. I got it to a forty deck. So, so I wanted to ask you. You don't like desires is trash in the deck for if it's you got different stuff going on. So you didn't play desires or talents yeah. or anything. So I, I played the two desires. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I yeah. think of switching out the desires for talents because yeah. I want my plays to get through. Yeah. Uh, some people like, think that virtual world is bricky. It, it, it is, but <laughs> at the same time, if you play your cards correctly or being smart with your plays, yeah, or you like bait things out, then you can still do all the combos. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, extra deck. Uh, I'm gonna be faster because I've been talking a lot. Uh, level six is Coral Dragon. Mm -hmm. uh, tuner lets me draw a card. Uh, when it's sent to the graveyard. Uh, Charge Warrior lets me draw a card when it's summoned. Mm -hmm. And last level six, which is pretty cool, is the 
Zui Zui. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, a uh, cool effect is um, if I have two attributes with the same type mm -hmm. and attribute. Uh, an attribute, so same type and attribute, uh, he can't destroy by battle or card effect. And then I can banish those two with different names to send one card from the field to the graveyard. It does target though. But the send is just send. The send is nuts, though. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. It's another virtual world. It's a virtual war like clan in this local. Exactly. You know, so uh, we'll send the hate um, mail to these two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I said last six, but you know I'm just I'm tired from work. You know, <laughs> right. it, it'd be like that sometimes. Uh, the muddy dragon. <laughs> uh, I play muddy for one purpose to only. To go. To go. To go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Coming from every angle in this video. Exactly. <laughs> so, Dragoon's pretty self explanatory. And uh, I kind of want to cut some cards, um, but this brings out Crystal Wing, and that's the level two sixes. Mm -hmm. One tuner, one non tuner. Mm -hmm. um, crystal Wing. And this is just my last of my synchros. This is to, this is to give me a hard time in Fluandries. Correct. <laughs> uh, and this card with this card is a OTK. Oh shit, it is. Yeah. Um, Cause you drop him down and he's like, I wanna have a conversation. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so this card is pretty cool. You can either make it from the Sword Soul monster mm -hmm. or um, you can send the snow to graveyard and just like uh you activate your lao lao which is this level six tuner mm -hmm. and you know you just do your shenanigans to get snow out of graveyard and that's 10 right there yep. so it's it's liable uh two different routes right uh, and then my xyz's other two is was very essential that's how i send my snow uh gossip shadow i'm thinking about cutting and then the Halberfax I'm thinking about cutting. Server everybody at home, just make this bear. <laughs> yeah. Um, what I'm uh, thinking about was I was playing the Halberfax for uh, Psychic and Dragon, and I had uh, two Formulons, or a Formulon Synchron. Mm -hmm. the, the oh, synchron. oh so, you just, so you just go him in the, in the, and, in the Synchron in the... Correct, and then it would go into the psychic, and that card is broken. <laughs> yes. But it, it takes uh, a lot of spots, three or four spots in the extra deck. So for you, it's too expensive. Maybe. Too expensive. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then the side deck, I side deck, our locals is weird. You don't, you know, mm -hmm. it's up to you. Yeah, you know, it, I won't even explain it, but I'll show it. <laughs> all I all I can say is our our locals is very strange. So we ours is unique. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, it's a good side deck. <laughs> yeah, it's a good side deck. Yeah. It handles everything. Yes, sir. Well, BJ, right. congratulations on first, bro. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sure.